just because I would like to keep the game moving a bit. We already spent like two hours on focus trees. Economic growth in the hub. Trade and commerce has expanded the hub. Excellent. So we get a free level up. A big level up. Well, there are ministers for this. Excellent. Democracy and despotism. Okay. The NTR may be a bit different from what you're used to. There are no chieftains, town bosses, kings or dictators here. Our leaders are elected by the people. That's right. Every state has a right to send representatives to the Hall of Congress. These reps select the president and the vice president to head the council, and it's their advice which guides the president's decisions. The Senate election of 2278 will decide ultimately who becomes the next president. President Kimball is likely to remain in office, but he does face opposition at home. My allegiance is to the Republic, to democracy. By the people, for the people, of the people. The followers are fierce opponents of Kimball and are backed by Governor Olgood Murphy. As he once put it in speech earning his name, we must be thankful that we have no ills at home and we can afford another war. There is no crime in the Republic. There is no want in the Republic. There are no children in need of schools, no sick in need of care. There are no farmers who need assistance, no neighbours who need a hand. To spend as much blood and treasure as we have, all must be good. One of Kimball's other critics is Mayor Haynes of Dayglow. Mocked for his old world blues, Hayes studied America's past, the days when a nation stretched from sea to shining sea, with influences extending from pole to frozen pole. Hayes opposes the war in the Mojave because the resources spent there should be spent to uplift the Republic. Indeed, Hayes is perhaps the only NCR politician who does not just respect House, but admires him. Still better than worshipping the Maxim dynasty. The NTR has faced many crises throughout the decades, but has always managed to weather most things thrown in relatively intact. The Republic is not as strong as it once was, however, and is relying more on aggressive military responses than most thorny issues. Uh, one thing I did want to double check. Do the Mojave Territories have focus? They do. In fact, I knew that because we had somebody playing as the Mojave Territories. The other question is, do Navarro have a focus? No. Wonder if the military can still coup the government in this update. Uh, yes. So if you take a look at the NCR focus tree, and if we zoom out, and keep zooming out, and keep zooming out, and keep zooming out, and then scroll down, Way down here, we have these guys with the silver bear, black bear. I believe that this is the military coup. This focus tree is flipping huge. Okay, we're back at the top now. How come I can rest? Oh, because I'm rich. Yes, being rich helps. So we can restore the naval station, which gives manpower, building slots in the boneyard, naval base in San Diego, building slots in infrastructure, naval auxiliary, building slots in infrastructure. Let's do Seal Beach. Three building slots in boneyard sounds very good. And we also gained a factory. So we do still need supply, but that's going to be mostly just strength ticking up. I think I'm going to go for squad automatic weapons because I like them as line infantry. Does MacArthur have a focus tree? Mm, no. Uh, yes, sorry, it has, it has a uh, half a focus tree. The developers said they're still working on that one. Crises in California. Life in the wasteland isn't simple, especially not for democracy as cumbersome and problem riddled as the NCR. After decades of decadent decline under the premiership of Peterson and Kimball, the Republic is facing a number of crises on many fronts. In the south, Dagolo faces off with raider groups along the Colorado and the Bajo, threatened blooming city security and prosper prosperity. The Brotherhood lurks in the bunkers, and whether they will be friend or foe is too soon to tell. San Francisco, nominally as a friend of the Republic, pursues its own designs under the Xi. The Barons continue to run roughshod over the people of Northern California. 
With the NTR distracted, Vault City and Navarro debate their own course. Between now and the 2278 election, the NTR will face a number of crises that it must react to. When these arise, they will be put to the Senate, who prevails will decide the fate of the election to 2278. Democracy must prevail! Okay, so, motion and no confidence requires... us to lose the northern frontier. Which is this one. But we can do... No, we can't. We don't have a hub intervention yet. So the only thing we can do is refurbish the bazaar. Oh no, we can do bare roars. Hang on, let's see if there's any others that are actually available. So the Bear Roars is military stuff. But I don't feel like we need that just yet. I think I'd much rather start refurbishing the bazaar to get our industry up and running. What are the yellow co coded focuses? Um, Pro Rangers, Anti Rangers. Yeah, pro uh, pro ranger, anti ranger. Lower, lower. All oh, these. So these are based on who you elect. So yellow. You got anarchist. Kimball, Hayes, all good. State of Disunion. Oh, this is probably Civil War. Yeah. If the NCR falls into chaos. Does New Vegas have New Focus Tree? I don't know. New Vegas is definitely a lot smaller than they were. Does Caesar's Legion have a focus tree? Yes. Maintenance of Lucky 38. Placeholder, 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 placeholder. So I have a feeling, and this is just a feeling, that they're still working on the New Vegas one. Oh, is Yellow Brom in back of Aaron's? In fact, there is a way of seeing. Uh, so, the different colours. So, purple is the Barons, blue is the people, red are the intellectuals, silver are separatists. Wait, separatists? No, ruler. Okay, ruler. Not so. They're called the separatists, but they are uh, autarky. So, intellectuals, people. No, sorry, ruler, people. Ruler. I can't remember which is which. Purple is the elites, blue is the people. So purple is the elites, which is Hayes. Blue is the people. And then yellow and red are two different ones. Red's the intellectuals. Except that's not a bear, it's the claw, which is why I think this is something else. And I still think that this is anarchists. Ah, here's red. These are the intellectuals. 
working with the she. Yeah, so purple was the elites, blue was the people. You know what? I think you're right. I think that yellow is the Brahmin. Because it's not a bear, it's a Brahmin. So I think that must be you have to choose either the elites or the ranchers. Or the people. I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> See our political parties are just her left over if the election works similar to last time every president becomes leader of the people party. Okay. Because yeah, until I did the multiplayer game I had not played NTR at all. And when I was doing the multiplayer game, the only thing I really cared about was building up my military and my industry. Like reading the, the focuses and the text and everything. Yeah, just don't have time. days. It's a long one. Meanwhile, construction is being completed. Necropolis is maximum infrastructure. Huh. Alright, so where else has decent industry potential? Tijuana does. Greater Dayglo does. Huzzah! Reading does. The Reading is rather far north. Sac City does. I feel like Sac City should probably be the main one that I'm building up because it has the biggest potential. Junk Town does. Junk Town's flipping huge, in fact. So is the hub. In fact, you know what? The hub should be first. Yeah, that should keep us going for a while. While we're waiting for things to occur, let's go and see where we were up to with the shoutouts. Zerxon, Flubbins, Da Waffles Dog, never going to use this thing. And the Macca, thank you very much for the follows. Welcome to the channel. Pazgrim, coming in with a nine month resub. Thank you very much for that. Landmark Buffalo, coming in with a prime sub. Oh, three month prime resub. Thank you very much. For the ongoing support there, Maharo coming in with a 43 month tier 3 resubscription. Thank you very much for the ongoing support there, Maharo. Appreciate that. Can I look at the east of the map? I mean, I can. There's not much over there. As someone who plays the NTR a lot, I recommend building up the, sh the hub, Shady Sands, Boneyard, Dayglo, Reading, Sac City, and the state called Mojave Base, also build up Los Angeles. Oh, did I miss something? Huzzah! Has Lanius's cohort been given the new focus to allow independent but loyal Lanius? Huzzah! Apparently yes. Pazgrim! Wow, showing the generosity today. Thank you very much for that. Schmezerschlag, Smoke Cats, A Warwick, Huzzah! Londus, Icemark, Rabbaslafs, 
uh, The Last Spartan, Soldano, Schwaggy, and Averton. Congratulations on the gifted subs courtesy of Pazgrim. Thank you very much for that. Huzzah! No idea coming into this stream what Old World of Blues was. Oh my gosh, I'm such a Fallout fanboy. This seems great. It is really good. They've done an absolutely phenomenal job on this. Like, Old World Blues is up there with Kaiserreich, Huzzah. Road to 56, and Equestria in terms of just pure quality. One of these days I really do need to try Equestria. I've avoided it for a while, but I should try it at some point just to see what it's like. I've heard Huzzah. good things. But yeah, Old World Blues is, is flipping huge. Become a brony, accept it. I don't think there's any danger of that. But I like high-quality things. Just like um, Ambinar and Third Odyssey are really good for EU. Huzzah! What are the big CK3 mods? Are there any yet, or is it still too early? Huzzah! God Harrier. Yeah, that is one I need to try. I've been on their server, on Discord server, for ever since Panzer stopped working on New Order. Way of Kings, World of Darkness. Yeah, World of Darkness mod still fairly early in development, though, isn't it? Like that's the problem with the CK ones, they're just not as mature. Which is understandable, it's a newer game. Fatal Asylum and Rasta, thank you very much for the follows. Welcome to the channel. And KGC Reaper wanted me to drink some tea. Cheers. Alright, speed five this. Not sure this will actually make a difference. Because laptop, but hey, we can try. Halborg, thank you very much for the 18 month resubscription. Very much appreciate the ongoing support there. Thank you. Lanius declared war on the Blue Rose Society. Oh yeah, you wanted to see if Lanius had... the splitting free focus. Okay, so the March West, you unite with Caesar's Legion. No strings on me, you split. And then the Eastern Empire. You stay with the Empire friendly. So that's good for multiplayer, I guess. Kimball seems to be anyone that wants to prepare for war with the Legion. Flynn is something. Hayes is anti-war with the Legion, but wants war with the Brotherhood and Harkons back to the old world. Okay, bizarre. Refurbished. So, Buster's Emporium's expansion. Here's more arms workshops. Shady Sands Power Plant is more power, but I don't think we need that. Let's trade. Let's trade. Power. We have enough power. Wasn't there a funky sound effect for the intelligence agency? Was that a different mod? Could have sworn it was this one. And then the selection of 2275 two, Vault City has not happened. Our friends to the south. Vault City's council is choosing a new leader. A diplomatic visit to promote ties will help remind the fair city where the best interests lie. Um, sure, let's do that. Make them remember who their allies are. There are so many Old World Blues mods. Who is this one by? 
um, Old World Blues team. <laughs> See the marker. Can I look at the new stuff they added to the Northwest? Again, if you want to see the individual focuses, I cover them in earlier in the stream, so check the VOD. Oh, that's all of the research finishing on the same day. Uh, that's not research, this is research. That's ahead of time. These are not, so I definitely want to go for the improvised tools. I can get my industry going better. And then of these two, I generally go work assignments because I prefer the max factories in state. No, other way around. Yeah, I prefer more factories to do the work as needed. And construction speed. Cool. And also, the hub just leveled up. You can already level up again. So do. Did you change? I don't think you went up. Or is it happening at the moment? I think it's happening at the moment. There it is. Boom. Cool. Those convoys are pretty loud. Selection of 2275. Finished. Oh, I see what you mean. The election set of this, the selection. Yes, it probably should be the election of 225, although you are helping select a new ruler. Okay, so there are more factories down this way, so I think we're going to go and get the Shady Sands Power Plant. Shady Sands Power Plant dates back to Aradesh, and it's time for an upgrade. We can't always rely on Hoover Dam, after all. Get the rest of you back into training. Oh yes, and we can also go and request some followers aid if we wanted to. Sure. They'll get pissy at some point to tell us to reduce our factories, but we can just accept that once and then be like, yeah, I've done my bit. too far off being able to get even more trade node upgrades which will be good what path do I think I'm gonna go down no idea see what happens as the game goes on I don't usually like to like pre-decide if I don't have to Oh, the followers of the Apocalypse, the Anarchists, I heard they're accused of that all the time. What's their deal? Uh, no, followers of Apocalypse are kind of old school. They believe in restoring medicine and prosperity and stuff to everyone. They're actually kind of the, the good guys. They're just pacifist. Very, very pacifist. Yeah, they're the Red Cross. They're exactly the Red Cross. The hub is in some ways the epitome of the NTR's contrast. Home to the Thieves Guild and the Underground. It's home to some of the richest merchants of the West. Recent economic development has attracted thousands of citizens into this city. 
attracted to the promise of bright tomorrow, but not everyone can succeed, unfortunately. The gangs have taken advantage of those who would fall through the cracks and continue to grow in power. Investing in the Boneyard could bring long-term benefits to the Republic. So, chaos in the hub. Lose manpower. Consumer goods factories, trade power, trade income. New branch of our focus tree, beginning with the focus entitled Century Opus to the Hub, will become available. NCR economy will require 5% more consumer goods. Or such is the price of progress. We just get Chaos in the Hub for a year. I'll take the extra consumer good for the in intervention. The way that we walk. Aradesh was not just the first president of the Republic. He was also a strong believer in the teachings of Dharma. Dharma was one of the great teachers before the war. He prophesied that mankind's greed and folly would lead to de death and destruction. Only by following the Four Noble Truths and the Eightfold eight Path could mankind avoid this endless horror of unchanging war. Understandably, the faith mocked in the Californian cults before the war flourished in its aftermath. Dharma's presence isn't so much isn't so flashy as the ranger outpost of the Crimson Caravan Station, but the faith makes its presence known through the soup kitchens, hospitals, and its ties to the followers. For a single candle can light thousands, and light is not decreased by being shared. Conquer anger with love and lies with truth. Alright, let's see what this new focus area is. Oh, it's this. So once the Shady Sands power plant is finished, we can start sending troops over here. 